Hi, it's Jerry. I'm back. We had to take a little trip up to Indiana to see my niece's newborn baby, which you'll see a picture of in just a minute. And we finally made it back from Indiana. So um, today is talking about knife skills, uh, basic knife cuts, um, cuts that you will use during everyday cooking. Um, I'm not going to go in depth, but I will take and um, just show you some of the basic cuts. Okay, but first, um, just to go over a few things. To sear, um, you can buy at Walmart, um, Dollar Store for a dollar. I mean, it's a big roll that you put underneath your cutting board. It's always good to use a cutting board for sanitary reasons. And of course, you know, you have different cutting boards that you can use for red for your meats and poultry and vegetables. And that's what we're using today is green for vegetables. Now, always good to have a um, trash bin or a bowl to put your scraps in as you're cutting. Nice sharp knife. This is a chef's knife. It's a Mercer, it's the one I use. It's a 10 inch. Um, they also make 8 inch at depending on what you need or um, what you feel comfortable with. A good thing to know about the grip, how you grip it. Your thumb should go here on the handle and the rest of your hand holding the knife. You just want a nice knife that feels comfortable in your hands and it needs to be sharp. Now one of the first cuts we're going to show you um, is going to be a small dice and with that we're going to use it on potatoes and I, I usually peel them and then take and put them in the water with a little bit of lemon juice so, so that it keeps it color so the air does not dry it out and it's always good to have a towel on hand one of the first cuts we want to make is just right down the back side of it and that way it stays nice and level it does not rock on you and then we make another cut now a small dice is the small dice is a quarter inch cut so we're just going to look at it and we're going to go with what we would assume would be about a quarter inch cut and we'll make a few of them a couple of them so that way we have them now with those we want to make another quarter inch cut and you leave it, leave it on there just like this and you're going to get the same cut all the way through each piece and that way now we have what you call a batonet which can use with french fries many different things um, so french fries um, you know or you can cut them in half make short fries whatever you like now also along with the batonet you can make your small dice which is going to line them up cut the ends off and then you're going to make another quarter inch cut now these small dices can be used for soups added, added with um, a corn soup, corn chowder different um, things that you can use them for a hash you can use them on a the stove fry them up but they're all basically the same size, they're all going to cook evenly and they look great when you present them into a soup or something. Now, with a medium dice, it's a little bit larger, it's a half inch. And a half inch, you can go right here and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take it this way and you're going to cut it right down there. And that way you have a nice half inch size cut and you can take the medium dice, cut the end off again and then you're going to take and cut again and get your nice little squares and these can be used for different soups um, maybe a chowder if you're making a, a hearty chowder stews, many different things but right there is a nice medium dice Okay, now the last thing we have is a large dice. 
Now we take a potato again and we're going to cut the end off just like that. And then we're going to take and cut it here to get a nice straight edge. And the large dice is three quarter. It's a large, large dice. So what we're going to do is just do that same thing we just did. And we're going to try to make sure we get a three quarter cut on each piece so that we can have a nice large dice. And this can be used for heartier soups, rustic soups, um, chowders, different things that you want to make. Um, also you can use them, um, just fry them up, uh, make some nice um, potatoes for a side dish or uh, a complement your meal. And the trash goes over here. Now you have a nice large dice. And the nice thing about it, like I said before, is that evenly cut is all the best for cooking evenly as you cook. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take all this right now and put it in just a bowl of water with a little bit of lemon juice and that holds it so it does not discolor from the air oxidation. Now all I did was put the potatoes in the water with a little bit of lemon juice just to keep them fresh. We can use them later in mashed potatoes, soups, whatever we like. Um, next thing we're going to talk about, we already talked about a batonette which is a long um, quarter inch slice um, which can be used for french fries and this and that. <clears throat> we talked about small dice, medium dice, large dice. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take and start talking about um, a couple other um, um, cuts, knife um, cuts that we can use, which we're going to use carrots. That, that way it's easier for me to show you. It's called the julienne and the fine julienne. And out of the fine julienne, we can also get the brunoise. So, Give me a second, we're taking and start going into that. Now that we have our carrots, we peeled them of course, cleaned them off, washed them. You want to cut your ends off and you always have your trash bowl sitting by close, scrap bowl. Keep all your scraps, you can use them in a stock which is coming up in another video that we're going to be doing. And all your carrots and onions that you're going to see, keep a hold of them so that we can use them in the stocks. We're going to make a veggie stock and a chicken stock sometime soon. <clears throat> now with the julienne, we're going to talk about eh, two and a half, three inches long for each one. And we're going to take the same process of what we did with the potato, cut the end off the side so it sits nice and level. Now after you have the carrot cut on the one side so it's nice and level, you can start cutting your julienne which is approximately just a eighth inch by two and a half to three inches which we done cut. So that's first slice which is usually trash. An eighth inch is not very big. It's like a matchstick almost. Maybe a little bit bigger. You know, what I'm throwing in here is not really trash. It's going to be used for stock later. Of course, all the scraps, like I said, can be used for stock. Like I said, we're just trying to get a nice eighth inch cut. And once we get that cut, we can go back and do another eighth inch. And then here you have some nice little julienne carrots, which you can put in salads if you like, if you like the bigger crunchiness of carrots. You can also be a you know, fry them up just like a french fry or whatever you like. And then of course out of the julienne you get the brunoise which is about the same as a small dice or pretty close but smaller. You're going to get your little cuts, line them all up 
And this way you have evenly cut carrots that you can use also again for soups and different things. Just like that, nice small squares, looks great. <clears throat> Next one we're going to talk about is a fine julienne. And same thing with the carrot, cut the edge off, throw that into your stock or you know, bin. And the fine julienne <clears throat> is only a 16 inch raw wide and it's just a real fine cut. And they're usually about two inches long. A little bit harder to cut, but you get a few of these done, and you can just take and go back through and get your small fine julienne. which actually work great for garnishes. You can blanch them and come real tender. And they're great for garnishes and different things you can do with those too. You can fry them up and put it right on top and of a dish and it tastes great, looks great. Let's take, and take a second, I'm gonna put all this away. and wipe the board down. And we're going to talk about peppers real fast. Um, these are nice bell peppers. <clears throat> a lot of different things you can do with these, a lot of different ways. A lot of people just like to cut them up, use them as stir fries. Um, you can stuff them, different things. I'm going to show you two ways to cut into them so you can get everything out of it that you need to get out. One is just cutting the end off or the top and then the end. And don't forget you have meat here you can always use later. And then you can cut it right down the center here. And then you just take and roll your knife or roll the pepper and take your knife and just roll it right through. And you get the core out. Watch your fingers. Once you have the core <clears throat> with all the seeds out of there, you can always use the seeds and try to grow your own. <clears throat> now once you have it cut open like this, you can just flatten it out, trim it out. Hardly anybody likes to wipe it from inside. always knock out the seeds. Like I said, you can always save those. Try to grow your own peppers some other day. And with that, you can take go ahead and julienne your peppers just by rocking your knife back and forth. And it's always good to have skin side down with peppers because it's so tough. That way you know your knife penetrates it. <clears throat> and there you have some nice julienne peppers. Now I wanted to show you another way to do it. Another way to cut into the pepper and get it so you can have nice fine julienne. I always take off the sticker. It's always a good thing to do. Is you take your knife and just run it down the side of the pepper. Just like this. And then again, doing this, you're getting all the meat off that you want to use. And all you have left is the seeds and the core. And again, plant your own, grow your own peppers. It's much cheaper. And now you have your pepper sides, and you do the same. And you julienne your peppers again. And 
nice long peppers. If you have any meat in there, just be sure to take it out. Just like that. And again, just purse down and find julienne. Or a regular julienne. Pause. <clears throat> One more cut or dice or chop as you might see whenever you was growing up, your grandma or grandpa. Just a rough chop. You may have seen your parents do it or anyone do it. They just take it and grab it, cut it down, and there you go. I mean, they just have the chunks, things to use, and um, able to actually handle it better for whatever they like. So, I'm Oh yeah, I cleaned the board off again, wiped it down. Um, we're just going to go over one more thing, which is the onion. Something everybody's got to have. Usually I just cut the end off, and I would trim off the back end, just the hair. You just want to get the root that's sticking out. And what I normally do is I would cut it right down the center. As it's sitting, take off the skin maybe the first layer if you have to depending on what is needed same thing with the other half and wipe the board now a couple things people do with the onion it's a dice it. Now you want to make sure your core, the back end, that's where the um, bottom of the onion was. Make sure that's intact because that's what's going to hold your onion together as you're cutting. You can do different sizes. Easiest way is just take the knife, run it back. Just, you know, half, a quarter inch, half inch, whatever you like, whatever dice size dice you're looking for. And then take your knife and run it down the front again about the size you're looking for and then you're able to just, just take it right down and you can dice small dice fine dice whatever you like large dice and you have your diced onion used for stocks um, soups anything you like Just a real quick demonstration of the fine dice. You want to make sure you get closer together, quarter inch, something like that. Hold a number uh, onion with the top of your hand or fingers. Watching your fingers, make sure you don't slice into them. Same thing going down a little bit closer together. And then you go down a little bit closer to the edge while holding the onion together. And then you're going to get your fine dice. Smaller dice used for sauteing. Add into the bottom of your soup to take and get the flavor. And we'll go over that later, of course. One more cut with the onion that I want to go over is how to julienne it. And what we'll do here is we'll take the edge of this off, the end of it, the bottom, because we don't want it to hold together after we're cutting. So when we do this, we just want to go at an angle of the onion. And you can do it as you know, big as small as whatever you like. Like fried onions, different things. And when you're done, all your onions just fall apart, and you have julienne onions. These are just different cuts, all kinds of cuts that you can use in your household. And as I was saying, that's the julienne of the onion. Now, those are basic knife cuts. Um, everything I sold you can be used, if you like, um, to make soups, bases, um, chowders, anything you like. Um, a little tip while you're cutting the onion, if you start getting the teary eyed, stick your head in the freezer, it should help you out. 
Um, but that's it for today, and we will be back, and we'll be going over stocks and different things. So thank you for joining my channel. Come cook with me. This is Jerry Taylor.